Got the call on another collection. Gonna go check it out up next. All right, guys, we're going to hop in the car in a second, but please, if you could, hit the subscription button along with that notification bell. If you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. And as always, I want to hear from you. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Now, uh, without further ado, let's just get right into the car. All right, guys, I'm about to head out now. I uh, got the call on this collection. 3,500 books, quite a few. Uh, well, I asked him what kind of titles he had. They were pretty obscure, but mainstream, if that makes any sense. Like Sandman, Preacher, stuff like that. You know, independent style books, but still books that everyone knows. So, um, I'm going to hop in the car, and we're going to head out over there. Take a look at what he's got. Alright guys, so I showed up, and this is what I saw. A whole bunch of boxes looking like this lists in there and everything so first box we have a unsuspecting golden age books some flash comics some green lantern which i was really excited about never found golden age green lantern and that's it for golden age everything else is uh pretty modern although that's a nice book right there stars and stripes zero he had the complete run in here which was really really nice See, there you go. Now, th what you're about to see here is pretty much what the rest of everything looks like. The complete runs he had were different type of titles, nothing mainstream or major. And you'll see, we'll go through some of the keys at the end here, but as you can tell... Nothing super, super fancy that stands out. The Golden Age books, he said, were given to him by someone because they knew he read comics. So that's pretty cool. So after we go through this one box, I'm actually uh, going to show you how I divide up the collection. I'm only going to do it in one box, but I wanted to show you. So here you go. Some more just, uh, you know, meh. Nothing really jumps out. But definitely, you definitely want to stick around to uh, see how I do things, all right? We're not going to go through the whole collection, but I'll break down one box for you, and you can see how I do it, and then we'll go through the keys as well. I like those Golden Age books, though. Ooh, and there's my name. All right, guys, we got them. They're all over the place. They're in the trunk. I consolidated down to I don't know how many boxes... Uh, some cool stuff in here. A little bit of Golden Age. You saw that. Did not anticipate that. Um, some uh, Mostly DC. The majority of this is DC. But uh, some fun stuff. We'll go through it. Pull out the keys. You know how we do. And talk about the price. Alright guys. So I'm jumping out of my garage. I took the collection home. We got it for $1,000. Alright. And what I wanted to do here is... Uh, stabilize the camera we may start doing it this way from now on i always like recording at the people's homes but now the camera's nice and stable you can kind of see me flip through i've already looked through everything i pulled out i went through one box and i pulled out let me let me explain what's going on over here all the way to the right um what that is is just fun stuff i think would be uh a fun a fun lot for an auction it's just a bunch of Batman trades. You know, I think that would be kind of fun. So I put that off to the side. The middle one, the middle pile, those are $2 books that end up being bagged, boarded, and over on our left here are all my boxes of all the different titles. They'll be put in order. And what we have here are keys and minor keys here to the left. Um, that's kind of how I break down collections. All right. I did want to do a video on how I break down collections, but needless to say, this is it right here. What you're missing from this is all the junk, and that gets put into short boxes, long boxes, and get bulked out. So we can go through this one box together. If you're if you're being patient, you're willing to stick around, you want to watch, you may find some cool stuff in here. So Avengers, Iron Man, uh, these guys go in the $2 pile. I'll take this. It's a number one. That's going to go in the keys, and this is just going to go in the junk pile. Do another pile here. Cap, cap, cap. $2 stuff. Nexus is really no big deal. 
Same with this. Sandman Mystery Theater. You know, there's people out there that want this stuff. It's just a lot easier for me to just bulk out this stuff. So, unfortunately, that's going to go here. And I'm sure I'll get some messages like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. I would have bought that. But, again, this is just a lot easier for me. I st still can move the stuff, get rid of it, get paid, move on to the next stuff. This we're going to keep aside. Hellboy, one of one. Two, look, nice little mini series right here. We're going to keep those. We'll put the mini series off to the side. This guy had lists right here of in every box he listed what's in there. It's not the same anymore because I I uh, I kind of piled boxes on one another. Uh, no, we don't want any of this stuff. Oh, no, Usagi. Uh, all right, I'll pull the Usagi out. Okay, for this, okay, for this, I'm sure. Again, I'm sure you guys are seeing books that are like, oh, that's good, that's it. But again, I've got my system. It works well. If somebody can make a few bucks off of me, that's great. It's good for them. Doesn't doesn't bother me too much. Let's see. Some Adam Hughes. And Adam. Uh, I'll put this aside just to see. You never know. Some of those number ones. Obscure titles. Black Orchid. No thanks. All Black Orchid here. Damage. Oh, nice little cover swipe. Should we keep that one? We'll keep that one aside. Pull out another pile here. So I have to do this. Put this aside too. I have to do this with every box that I buy. One, three... Nice little concrete mini series. Aquaman, we don't care about. One of two, two of two. So all this stuff will be bulked out. These will be individually priced over here. These are two dollars each. A little fun auction stuff. And then the mini series are far to the right. They're off camera right now. This we're gonna keep. Some Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol, The Tale of Bad Rats, book one, two, and three. We'll keep that aside. Fate, fate, fate. Don't need any of this. We'll look this up too. We'll put this on mini series. We'll put this over here too. All right, we're about halfway through this box, and I have 13 left after this. We're not going to go through all of them together. I just wanted to show you. Ooh. Foil. That's uh, just showing you what I do. All right, for each box. I don't need any of that stuff. Uh, we'll keep these. You never know. And I do miss stuff from time to time. It happens. But what are you going to do? When you're looking at thousands of books, something's going to slip by. It's not that big of a deal. This won't slip by. It happens. Demon, demon, demon. Here, look. Hey. There's a list of stuff that was in there. And we're also, after this box, I am going to go over some of the keys I pulled out of this collection. So if you're still with me, thank you. And I'll show you why I paid $1,000 for this collection. I was actually at about 500 600 something like that. And then I stumbled across one certain book that I have never found in the wild. And um, I was like blown away because I've never, I've never found it. It's always been on my list of stuff that I've wanted to find. It's an obscure book, significant value. Sweet meats. See, this is, these are the things that I like. All right. I have to look these things up because I don't know. I don't know at all. Come on. Same with. Mm. Let's look it up. Could be nothing, could be something. Okay, the back came off of that one. We don't need to worry about that book. 
Okay. Question. He was a big DC guy. Last batch right here. And then we'll uh we're gonna get into the keys after this. I know there's a key somewhere in here with the question, but I don't want to look it up. That's fine. That's it. So a few things. That's all that. Now we're going to get into, I'm going to go through the rest of this stuff, pull the keys out and go over them. All right. So I ended up taking this thing home. It was a lot of boxes. As you saw, a thousand dollars for everything. And there wasn't a tremendous amount of keys. You guys actually saw some pretty quick um, with the stars and stripes, I believe, uh, and those Golden Age books. Let me show you those Golden Age books really fast. We had Flash Comics 93, really cool old stuff. These are all going to go to CGC. Even this one, which is chewed on by I don't know who, maybe, I don't know. This is Flash Comics 89. We're, going, we're getting back there. I love finding the Golden Age stuff. Flash Comics 62, okay, and now... I have never found Golden Age Green Lantern, but here it is, number 22. And number 20, funny enough, my name written in pencil on the cover. This wasn't my book when I was younger, but uh, it's mine now. So we're gonna try to get that out of there. These will all be cleaned and pressed and sent off to CGC. Now, just so you guys know, when I started doing this, a little backstory, when I started getting into buying collections, I always had like a dozen books in my head that I always wanted to find in the wild that were hard to find. Yeah, AF-15, Hulk 1, Fantastic Four 1, all those, those are obvious ones, but I've had others on my list, obscure ones that have a little bit of value, but they're just shorter print, run, print runs and harder to find. For instance, one of them was the Evil Ernie run, the first Evil Ernie run in all of my years doing this. Only about four or five years, so let me not, you know, it's not 30 years, but about I'm going out and buying collections. I've only found that collection or that run one time. Evil Ernie, I believe it's one through five. I have them still to this day. Got them cleaned, pressed, graded. I have them all. That's first Evil Ernie, first Lady Death, stuff like that. Uh, I've had some other ones, which you do know about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one, first print. Okay, it's a very expensive book, but still, I know they're out there. Tick. Number one, that white cover, I bought a collection once. This is before YouTube where I had four of those special edition ones. I've never found the black cover, um, but those. And there's some other ones, but one that always sticks to mind was in this collection. I have never found it before. It was through a bunch of different, it's gone through a bunch of printings. Before we get into that one, I just wanna show you a small batch of keys that came out. Not a lot. These were obscure books in here, all right? Very, very obscure titles. Um, you saw the stars and stripes, but some stuff that's not too, too expensive was Preacher number one, high grade. Now, these two books are kind of pricey, which is pretty cool, and they're awesome. Sandman number one, it is in high grade, as well as Sandman number eight. Really happy about these. They're going to be going to CGC, the Sandman. So we have all the Golden Age going to CGC and Sandman. Now, uh, this is a good little book here. This is Hellboy number one. This is one of four from the Seed of Destruction. All right, nice, nice key here. Now, let me get into the book I'm talking about. There, it has gone through multiple printings. It is so hard to find, and for some reason, I've always wanted to find it. I, you know, first Usagi is another one. Was that Al Albadeo number two or something or one? You know, that's that's a book that's on my list to find because I know they're out there. They're obscure. This was going to be that kind of collection, but that wasn't in here. Instead, this book was, this is not cheap, and this is high grade. This is bone number one, first print. Never have I found this in a first print. This is a high grade, probably somewhere around the 9.2 range, 9.4 maybe. Does need a press, does have a couple spine ticks. Even if this thing comes back a 9.0, you're talking about an $800 to $1,000 book here. This one book is going to pay for the entire collection, all right? He also had a number three in there as well. Obviously not as expensive, but still nice. First print, but this is it right here. This is the one and only I've ever found of this. So excited. I, and I had to look at it twice, be like, is this first print? Is this first print? It absolutely is. So this made the entire collection. More, I, this is gonna sound crazy, and I know it sounds nuts, I was more excited or maybe equally excited to find this with the Golden Age Green Lanterns, this book. I don't know yet if I'm going to sell it. 
I think it's coming Netflix in an animated series. I'm not sure. But again, bone number one, first print. Early, early 90s. $2.95 cover for an early, early 90s book. Same price on the third number three. So uh, this collection was absolutely worth it just for that one book. Again, I'm into it for $1,000. Not a tremendous amount of keys, but a few golden age, which is amazing. And that bone number one is awesome. So happy to find one. Check that off the list. I can put it with my Evil Ernie books and some other stuff like that. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Please, if you can, share. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And of course, as always, keep your comics.